Hi guys, so it's your girl and I'm back. I know, it's like, what, two videos, one day? So I just made a video and posted it showing, showcasing my uh, lock pedal afro style and my little spin on it, how I did it a little differently than most people have done theirs. But I wanted to come back because while I was wearing it, I was like, you know what? The cool thing about this is I should still be able to wear lock jewelry with this style. And I realized I hadn't made a video on my glass beads from Barbados that I got from Barbadian261's channel. So I said this would be a perfect chance to showcase my beads. And um, yeah, so here I am making this video. So first of all, let me give a quick shout out to, um, I guess I can say the YouTuber formerly known as J. Renee C., now known as Trini VK Babe. I recently won a um, contest that she had um, on her channel where she was asking for feedback for her blog, um, which is, I think, Trini VK Babe at Blogspot. And so I actually won, and one of the prizes was um, an item from Barbadian261's channel. For those of you who keep up with my channel, you know that I recently have posted a video on the excellent turnaround time and customer service for the purses that I purchased. Um, I've made two purchases. Well, at that time I had made that purchase for per for a purse. And then I made another purchase uh, for a purse and some lock beads. And I made a third purchase a while ago. So this is my fourth package, I guess you could say, from Barbadian 261. And I can still uh, speak to the customer service. So I want to show you the two pieces because I don't even know if J. Renee C. knows the pieces that I got. Or I'm sorry, I want to call her J. Renee C., but I know she's Trini BK Babe now that her hair is loose. So I just want to do this video so she can see the items that I got. So the first um, bead is this spiral, really pretty, like purplish color bead. And the second one is this clear glass bead. And like I was saying, because my hair was so easy, the style was so easy to do, it's easy for me to take down a lock real quick to put some lock jewelry on. So I'm going to take this one down, slide on this cool purple one, and re-secure it. And there. I can rock, still rock my lock jewelry in this. So if you are doing the lock pedal afro style and you have some lock jewelry that you like to wear, you can rock your lock jewelry in your afro. So just a point to make. Um, in addition to the two pieces that I won in the contest, um, I made some purchases myself. For those of you who aren't aware of Barbadian 261's uh, store online, which is barbadian261.com, um, you really need to check it out. I think she still has some glass beads left. A while ago, she had gone to Barbados and discovered this um, gentleman who makes glass, glass lock beads. Not just, you know, your regular wire or uh, clay or metal, but out of blown, hand-blown glass. And for the longest time, she had been sharing them in her videos and everybody was like oh god I want to get some but they were really hard to access even when she explained the gentleman who was selling them and I think he had set up a Facebook page it was still kind of complicated as to how to go about ordering them so she actually ordered up a bunch and made them accessible and quite a few people have benefited I know uh, foreign uh, 78 made a video about her lock beads and I think a couple other people have as well so now I'm going to quickly go through the ones that I have ordered on my own. And these um, are the ones I have left. I actually gave one away to my really good friend because I love her a lot. Because I really, really like that bead. But I love her so much and I knew she would love it. And she has locks. And so this is mine is that one. But I'll share the ones I do have. So uh, this is one of the first ones I'll show you. It's this really pretty spiral. It's kind of like a teal and a, like a light blue or gray. So that's that one. Next I have, oh, I love this one. This is so cute. It's a heart, you guys. And it has like a swirl. It's like red with, it's clear. And it also has like a kind of a creamy beige color swirling through it. Be cute on Valentine's Day to rock this out or any day. Um, I also have another heart. This one is spiraled. Um, red, black, and yellow. The uh, loop for your lock is in the back. And that's how that one looks. 
Um, I also have um, another heart <laughs> from, uh, and this these came from, there were some that she had that were like from the Caribbean Islands collection. So I, of course I had to represent one of my favorite vacation spots in beads so that when I go there I can, you know, represent. So of course Jamaica, um, this is a heart. It's of course green, yellow, and black. It also has the loop on the back. And I also got this one representing Jamaica. It's shaped kind of like a leaf or something. It's really cute. And it can just kind of hang. Um, also representing another island that I've yet to travel to, but I hope to travel to. But I have grown to really love the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. So I bought this representing TNT, red, black, and white. And of course I could not rock the locks walk around half the time getting called a Rasta without getting some beads that represent the Rastafarian people. Um, again, I'm not Rastafarian, but I do appreciate what they stand for and what they represent. So I got this one that is like a spiral col spiral kind of design, kind of abstract in the, you know, red, yellow, and green. And also this like tubular bead that's also in the red, yellow, and green. And the one that I gave away to my friend was also red, yellow, and green. Um, and I really liked it. It was a heart, but, you know, it's my friend and I love her. Um, next, I also got this dolphin. He's so cute. And I don't know if he was supposed to represent some island co island colors. I don't think so, though. I think this was just from, like, the animal. I think she had some shaped like ducks, some shaped like flowers, some shaped like dolphins, some shaped like other various critters. So I got this dolphin and of course your lock will loop through his fin. And the last one I got is another sea animal that is my favorite sea animal. I guess if I had to choose one and there's a little backstory behind why I love this animal so much. Um, when I was much younger um, I remember watching a documentary um, on um, like sea life, sea creatures, animals. And there was this one particular animal that stood out to me because I can't remember the specific details and I need to freshen up my memory, but some kind of way the female transfers the fertilized eggs to the male and the, or the fertilized sac or fertilizes the male or something. Anyway, the male gives birth, live birth. He has labor pains and all of that. And I saw this documentary shortly after watching um, a film in sex education where they showed a woman giving birth to a human baby. And I saw what the women go through. So after seeing that documentary, I have decided in my future life I want to come back as a female seahorse so that my mate can have the babies. <laughs> I know that's so sad, but these are my favorite little sea creatures. They're weird looking, I know, but the men have the babies. And uh, I think for all that women have to go through with pains and things, it might be nice to come back and not have to go through that. So I will be rocking my little seahorse as well. Um, so yeah, guys, this is my little glass menagerie. Um, and I'll probably be adding to it if more are made available. Um, again, shout out to Trini BK Babe for, you know, me adding to my collection. And definitely shout out to Barbadian261 for making these available. And if you have not already checked out how I went about creating this style with no rubber bands, you might want to check out my uh, lock afro video, 30 minute lock afro. Alright guys, bye.